like, well, what is going on? This song, what this sounded like, really distinct tapping. It's a girl's voice. Okay, I really sing something then. Thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt. Behind me is one of many entrances into the biggest cemetery in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. We're going to be heading in, waiting until darkness and doing some paranormal investigations because this place is said to be extremely haunted. So tonight we're filming in the Bin Hung Hao Cemetery and this is the largest in Saigon and Ho Chi Minh City and it seems like there's several cemeteries converging here and some of them are in better nick than others. The one that we are exploring there are some graves that are very well maintained, some are that can you know completely crumbled and not looked after and I have heard that they are looking to uh, dig up everyone in the cemetery and either move it or just have it destroyed so that they can continue constructing uh, new parts of the city. What has drawn me to visit this cemetery is the very notable legends that surround this place saying that it's haunted. Our most famous ghost story is actually that of a 16 year old girl. Apparently in life she was very much into Si Le Rong, which is a Vietnamese uh, folk type of music. Through this uh, theatre and through this music she actually fell in love with a young man though this was very much not approved by her father and he actually worked to have this young man drafted to go off into the military join the war where he died this left our 16 year old girl so angry at her father and heartbroken that she had just lost her lover she came to this cemetery and killed herself it is said that she threw herself into the lake here where she drowned her body remained there for six days until it was discovered the local legends say at night you can still hear this girl singing to her favourite songs. The cemetery is also thought to be haunted in general and that is what we are here to investigate and explore. You can smell that right? Yeah. There's a really heavy smell of smoke in the air and it actually looks like maybe there's a fire over here. A lot of these look like they've been destroyed and almost burned, like this one. A lot of them are beautiful, really well maintained, fresh paint, uh, tiles. Some of them are just completely like nothing, just crumbled. There is colour, yes. So a lot of blues, greens, uh, some maroons. And that's something you don't really see in cemeteries back home. They're always grey and gloomy. This one. Isn't that odd? It's like, is that maybe going to have a cover on it or...? Hopefully it's not windy. I'm crouching down to try and reduce the wind noise on my camera because it's terrible for that. We have just come across um, some crazy people in the cemetery. There's also planes flying overhead like every five minutes. So we must be pretty close to the airport. Um, There's also just this crazy man hanging out in the cemetery, like yelling at some grave, uh, graves. Maybe the ghosts, I don't know. But that definitely worries me a little bit because we're staying here tonight. So we're just trying to avoid that guy. But here's a pretty good example of some graves that are in a grave that's in terrible condition next to a grave that's very well maintained. I mean, just behind me. Great, and now I'm by myself because I've lost Jared. 
You can see the crazy man as well. He's probably looking at me thinking, oh, look at that crazy girl. Ah, <laughs> oh, found him. So it really smells of burning in here and I've just come across a little, it's obviously been something burnt here. It's right next to this grave here. Some crazy guy following us. Just over there, yeah. Hmm? Oh, he sounded like he's on drugs. Yeah. He, I was just saying, wouldn't it be funny if he was looking at us like, oh, look at these crazy people. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, now he's watching. We've got a crazy guy behind me, then we've got these dirt roads coming through the cemetery where people are on scooters, they're on motorcycles, there's even a car coming through now, like they're just whizzing through. And when I look down this way, there's just all of these piles of burning trash. I, I don't know, I think we need to walk down there and get away from this man. <laughs> I don't know if they're just burning piles of leaves or they're like burning on top of graves. They definitely have burnt on top of graves before. Is this some kind of, if anyone knows what this is, they're just like getting rid of shrub, trash, or this is some kind of cultural thing. I have no idea. Let me know in the comments, but it's like the graves are just on fire. past a little cafe and it looks like there's some families and that living in here like they have their houses actually built here in the graveyard and yeah I'm not really sure like if this is just trash burning behind me or <laughs> what is going on but I feel like I should be breathing in so much smoke I don't know if this is just so foreign to me but there's Something about this cemetery being on fire all over, that is really, really creepy. And everyone around is just kind of cool with it, like it's an everyday thing, you know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> statues around them. This one has a dog. This poor ear is broken off. I wonder if that's some kind of meaningful symbol to the person that's buried here. That would be very sweet, I think. So I just moved away from the burning piles of trash because I didn't want to keep breathing in that smoke. And we're at another part of the cemetery. These ones a really beautiful right behind me. They're all gated off, obviously for protection, but we look on this other side behind me and there are ones that are not looked after really at all. So there's a very stark contrast here between the different graves. He looks angry or? 
I think he's okay. He looks a bit pissy, but I don't think he's like... He's not attacking. Unless he's calling all his mates over. So we're just getting barked at by a dog, but <laughs> he seems alright for now. I do just want to show you guys there's a big uh, ravine here behind me. The cool part about this area is it looks like there's been a lot of erosion. So you can see some of these grave markers are completely above the ground now. So everything's just kind of been washed away. This one here too. The dog's still angry. This one you can see people must still visit. They leave offerings, food, drink. This one's got all ribbons near it. We've also seen some money around. I don't know what the deal. I don't even know if that's it's real money. But we're just leaving everything that we find. All right. Now that we're in a different area, away from the barking dog. I want to just point out that there's this massive ravine here which looks like it could have once been a lake which relates to our ghost story the young girl killing herself in the lake which is the area she's also thought to haunt though I did read online the lake has been filled in doesn't exist anymore so maybe this was it and this is kind of the closest thing I don't actually know the cemetery is so large as well it's hard to know what's old, what's new, and the graves are all in such different conditions as well. It's a very strange place. Right, so we've almost lost light and we're just starting to think where we want to settle for a little bit and uh, wait till darkness to do some investigating so we're gonna go around and find somewhere where there's not a dog barking so it's pretty dark now and i feel like most people have left but we've just heard sounded like a woman's voice just amongst the graves in here and I'm getting faint uh, sounds of music it's a plane just about to go over again now but it's a bit creepy I am worried about apparently it's a sketchy sketchy area around here well you know according to bloody TripAdvisor just listen, can you hear the music? Could you hear it before? I'm not going crazy, am I? No, I could hear music. That's someone's voice. can't hear it anymore. I'm not saying it's ghostly but maybe they've just stopped playing it if there's someone out over there playing the music I don't know. We're just sitting waiting for it to get completely dark and I know you can probably hear traffic and that around me and there is. We're hearing noises come from within the cemetery. I actually feel like I heard a grunt. I don't know how many animals are in here besides dogs, really. But it's just a little bit scary. Hello?
Oh, there's some swing here. What's going on? Maybe a dog swing? Okay, I really seen something then. I didn't see anything, what did you see? Hello. Oh, it was a dog. A white one? Yeah. Oh, it was a dog. Did you see it too? First thing you said what? Yeah, did you see it? Okay, so maybe that grunt that I heard, it was a dog, right? That was like the most sly, sly dog ever. Like it just crept up. It didn't make a sound. I seen it, I didn't hear it. That was pretty sly. That, did you get it on camera? I don't know. I don't think this night vision is strong that enough to pick it up. That thing must have been stalking us then. It was probably preying on us. <laughs> To be honest, I reckon it didn't hear us and it walked up and then I probably scared the shit out of it when I oh, you reckon? moved, yeah. Alright guys, so we have found another area of that ravine that we believe could have been the former lake where our ghost uh, is, said, is said to have died. And we found another side of it that was away from that dog that was barking at us, so it's reasonably quiet when you know the wind drops and the traffic's not going too crazy around us and um, i thought what i would try and do is something a little bit different uh with this particular haunting the legend goes that our ghost is very was very much into a particular type of <clears throat> i think his own just fell on the tree our ghost was very much into a particular type of vietnamese music and she loved it so much in life that now if she has passed, that's what she continues to do. She continues to sing her favourite songs. And, I mean, I actually don't know that much about this particular type of music, but looked it up before coming to the cemetery. It's not my cup of tea, but I thought it would be nice if I downloaded a song and I'm going to play it to our ghost if she is around. Maybe play some segments of this song. I don't know what that was. There's like nothing behind me is either. It's just a big pit. Um, anyway, I'm gonna play that song and my thought is maybe that will make the ghost feel more comfortable having us around. Maybe they would enjoy hearing some of the music uh, maybe it can also act as a trigger object and maybe we can hear some of the singing that, you know, is supposed to be heard in this area. Alright, so we thought we'll play this song, but we'll have Ghost Tube running at the same time. I'm going to put the phones down on the same area, but have them separate because this phone can trigger that phone's magnetic receptor. We'll just record and, I mean, see if we get any odd fluctuations. Maybe the song's able to trigger something. So... Okay, this is a ghost tube session in Ho Chi Minh City's um, cemetery. I'm about to press play on this song as well. Ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Motorbike was in past, just to make a note of that as well. Okay, I think that was it. That was a really short song. Should I play it once more? Yeah. Can you hear that? There's more noises in the. I heard that. What was that? It was like someone tapping on something. I think we should go check that out actually. Should we stop recording Ghost Tube then? Uh, let's just take it with us. Keep, just keep rolling. I have no idea if the camera picked that up because there was so much noise going on, but this sounded like really distinct tapping 
very close to us as well. I know there's so much noise around, but. Okay, this is on low power now, so I'm just gonna wrap up the ghost tube session and stop recording. Um, do you think there's someone out here? I'm saying there's probably a few people out here. They probably all just heard that song play. Okay, that is. Is there anything out there? Is it some other animal maybe? So we didn't get too much from that experiment. Here's an idea, I'm gonna play snippets of the song but also ask questions in between. As I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of noise around us so EVPs are difficult to grab here but I mean, let's give it a try and see if we can have anything strange happen. Xin chào tao ten la Amy. Hi, my name is Amy. Ten kwa bat lai ze. What is your name? It's plain. They take off every five minutes, guys. It's no joke. Ban kwa te hat cho to ne. Can you sing for me? There is some noises directly around me. I can actually see though that it's just leaves or maybe small bits of bark falling from the tree that's grown directly over my head. Kaman ban tambiet. Thank you, goodbye. I think that we should move to a different area. Then maybe we try a different experiment uh, now as well. It's a girl's voice and it's constantly repeating the same thing. It must be in Vietnamese. Can it's you coming from over your shoulder. Just behind me, yeah. You can definitely hear it though, mm -hmm. right? Same thing over and over. I feel like this is one of those things that's like like a trap <laughs> right it's definitely getting louder maybe it's someone trying to sell something I don't know if anyone watching speaks Vietnamese and can hear it and knows what it's saying Alright guys, we found out what the voice is. It's someone with a recording on a speaker on loop to sell something on the street here. So it's far less sinister than what it like sounds like it is echoing through the cemetery at night. So I say we go back in.
We're going to walk a bit uh, deeper back into the cemetery now. We came to the outskirts and pretty much left to figure out what that speaker noise was. But I really do want to try a spirit box while we are here and see if we can reach out and communicate with the resident ghosts here at the cemetery. All right, guys, we found a nice quiet area of the cemetery. It's still quite close to that ravine. What we believe may have been the the lake. I'm going to try and reach out my spirit box to this uh, a supposed ghost that haunts the cemetery. It is a little bit scary here as well because I can hear so many noises around me and this place just looks really spooky. Um, I'm going to be reaching out in Vietnamese which I do not speak. I've used Google Translate to get a bunch of questions together. If you do speak Vietnamese and you notice any words or phrases, particularly relevant ones, drop them in the comments for me to read please. You're kidding. I need a battery change. It seems to happen a lot on Amy's crypt. Is it spirits? Is it Amy never changing her batteries? We can never be sure. <laughs> right, sorry guys, take two of the spirit box. This is the largest and most haunted cemetery in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Xin chào tao ten la Amy. Hi, my name is Amy. Ten qua bat lize. What is your name? Noi voi toy, talk to me. What's the eye? Who are you? Ban ko te hat cho toy ne? Can you sing for me? Bat ko je en bo kuan? Are you angry with your father? We just heard music coming from out in the middle of the cemetery. I have no idea if we were able to pick it up on the camera and I can't hear it right now. It doesn't mean that there was anything paranormal. It, it did appear that there was a number of people living amongst the graves here when we explored earlier maybe it's from them all right sorry about that guys we thought that we heard something so we stopped the spirit box and interrupted it for a sec but i'm going to resume now Josie does a zavoy but all day. What happened to you here?
got the chat new day now. How did you die? But it's like I who is your lost lover? Haya Chachu Tom not Zuyu Tbadang or Dai. Give us a sign you are here. No ten toy come. Can you say my name? Amy. Goodbye. Okay, so there's definitely some voices, sounds, whatnot coming through. Honestly, could be radio interference, as I always say. This does sweep through radio stations, but what we're trying to listen out for is anything that could be uh, meaningful uh, to the questions that I was asking or coming over the top of sweeps. If you do speak Vietnamese and you recognize any of those words or phrases, drop me a comment below. I want to know if you think that it was just radio interference or maybe it was meaningful. Either way, I'm super happy to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're after a bit more reading on haunted locations that I visited, head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at amyscrypt. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.